Today I'll be showing you how to make furniture in survival game Roblox. Watch till the end for a sneak peek of my next build. Select the ladder and place it on the edge of the right wall and do the same in the left. Make sure you leave some space out. Then place four stacks of small poles in between. Put the small wall back and remove the first pole. And now simply put the stone or wood wall on top. Next, create a kingdom with color green, preferably, and either use the decal game pass or choose the closest color in color to section. Now select the decorative banner and place it on the top edges of both sides and one under each at the same height. This one's pretty easy to make and can add a lot to your build. First start by creating the carpet using the opposite floor material of the one in the ground. Now place the fancy grave in the center and in the edges of the bottom put the tables aligned with each other to make it seem like they are connected. Now put ornate chairs in the corners and wooden chairs around it. To make pillars in survival game it takes some patience, but I'll be showing you how you can do it. First start with the long pole or short and place it where you want it to be. It takes some tries to make it rotate the direction you want. If this happens, try to find the right angle or just destroy another pole and place this one first. Sometimes it just doesn't work, so leave the least recognizable piece like that. Now do the same on top of it until it reaches the height you want. When you're done place a small stone or wood floor above the pillar and then a toilet sit. And to finish it off add a wall at the top. I have used this in some of my older builds, something that can turn a boring wall to something interesting. Select any of the signs and place it on top of the middle wall, move it slowly towards you until a little peeks out in the wall underneath. Now add the wall above. After that, add small wooden floors into the sign that stands out. If you want, add the poles like I did. And now you can add books or anything to decorate. To make a carpet, you simply place another type of floor at the top of the one under. Make the table by using the serving counter and two small wooden walls on both sides, and then add whatever you want to it, you can use the tombstone as a mirror, or just add the book like I did. And lastly, add the chair to top it all. With this method you can, not only make a custom couch, but also a bookshelf. You start by using a wood slanted wall, then place a wood floor in it. Make sure it's not either too close to the ground or too far. Place a big wood wall in the floor, then a smaller one under, delete the big one and now place smaller ones all around the floor. And to make it look like a couch, you add another small wall layer in the sides and back. If you want to make a simple bookshelf, just use a serving counter and place each on top of each other. The trick is placing on the small groove of the serving counter underneath. Now all you need to do is place the 3x3 three three wood walls on both sides and in the back and add the books inside. If you do want to make a more spacious bookshelf, it's the exact same process as the couch. Just keep adding more layers of walls and floors to the height you want, and you can also change the width if you'd like to.
When you're done, place a wall in the center like I'm doing. And now you can add the books. To make this table you need to be precise, so do exactly as I show. First start with a short pole, then add a wood slanted wall besides it. Now grab a small wood floor and when you place it make sure it sticks out to your direction just a bit, add two more to the right, and do the same in each corners with the poles. Now the tricky part is placing a small wood floor on top of the pole, place right in the center. Add one more and in here you try to align perfectly with the other and then connect, and you can now remove the slanted wall. In the vertical it's the exact same, align with the one you see above and always try to stay as close to the center of the pole. Now all you need to do is place a stone floor and two small ones on top of the table, center them both, and it's finished.